the planet does need to be put on life support. And frankly, the solutions we're coming up with at the moment are merely sticking plasters. It's being called a mind-blowing crisis. The World Wildlife Fund releasing an alarming new report today that highlights the mass loss of wildlife. The group claims it's mostly due to human behavior and consumption. The findings can be found in this document posted online. It's the 2018 WWF Living Planet Report. And among the findings is that the population of mammals, birds, fish, reptiles and amphibians has dropped 60% over 40 years. Now, among the causes, pollution, deforestation, climate change, and other man-made factors. It also finds that 75% of land is actually used by human activity, and that by 2050, less than 10% of land could be untouched by humans. So the WWF says the time to act is now. As people, we've got to take a choice. Are we going to let this continue? Are we going to do something about it? Globally, at the moment, we are completely failing to tackle the loss of nature on the planet, and that's got to stop now. So what can be done? The WWF is calling for an international treaty that would protect wildlife and reverse the impact humans have on nature. The deal would be similar to the 2016 Paris Climate Change Agreement, which President Donald Trump recently pulled the United States out of. What we need now is for heads of states to step up and take ownership of this problem and show real leadership. The WWF report was released on the same day the World Health Organization convened its first international conference on air pollution, calling it one of the greatest threats to global health. Our latest estimates are that up to one third of deaths from heart attack, stroke, lung cancer and chronic respiratory disease are due to air pollution. No one escapes from the womb to the grave. The WHO claims that nearly 93% of the world's children are breathing heavily polluted air. The group has put forward 25 recommendations, including cutting industrial emissions and speeding up the transition to cleaner forms of fuel and transportation. But the suggestions do come with a hefty price tag of up to $600 billion a year.